Take a look around. We glory here in Hawaii in our diversity that defines us rather than divides us, and it's all taking place right here in this room today, right now. All of it is changing now, all across the country. Hundreds, thousands, millions of people saying again, regardless of who you're for, yes, we can, yes, I count. That's what this is all about. We haven't had this feeling in this country for the past 40 years. And it was 40 years ago that we had that same hope. 40 years ago. And it's all coming back this year. We are close to the end of the most fabulous period of participation, grassroots participation, that has ever happened in this country in the history of the Republic. Remember, we have on our side the gift that keeps on giving George W. Bush. <laughs> Poor Senator McCain is going to have to get up every morning wondering, oh my God, what did he do last night? <laughs> I'm not here. I went all across the country. I didn't say I was there to speak for Senator Obama. That's a big mistake. I can't speak for him. I was there to speak about him. And there's a difference and a reason for saying that. Because Senator Obama is not a fool. He's not an egotist. He's, he's not in love with himself. He understands that no one no human being can live up to the expectations that we put upon the President of the United States. But what he is, is a template for our hopes and our dreams and our best instincts and all that we want good to happen in the world. Some people are here for their first time. Some are here after dozens of time. We're all going to be together. We can use this moment in the most positive way to reformulate the Democratic Party here in the state of Hawaii. 2008 is just a prelude to 2010. You'd best believe that. Well, we're going to make a real change. We're going to move away from confrontation, which is the legislature has had to put up with it for it's going to be for eight years, from confrontation to cooperation and understanding. We're going to have a fusion in 2010 that's going to put the Democratic Party out in front where it should be on the basis that we're all together, all for one and one for all. And so I have the responsibility and the obligation to be looking out for those who are on the front line in the United States Army. The United States Army and the Armed Services right now, they've done everything that they can do by way of trying to carry out the missions to, to which they have been assigned. We now have an assignment and a mission to get them out of Iraq, to get them back home, and to take care of those who have sacrificed for us. What does Dick Cheney think about it? He has contempt, contempt for the people who work in this country that provide the foundation of freedom and democracy in this country. All for the super rich. All for the, the wealthy who haven't earned anything but take everything. That's what this is all about. And the workers that are out there that are trying to be fooled right now by the Republican hate machine that's out there, the, the propaganda machine. They're willing to take your vote, but they don't take up your cause. I've been saying that to working people all across this country. Change is coming. Change is coming here in Hawaii yes, and all across yes, the country. Yes, we can. 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 Take a look around. 